Hello friends. Today we'll discuss about the what is the need of a can cycle and a subroutine cycle. Also, we'll discuss the main difference between the can cycle and the subroutine cycle. So, in the need of can cycle and the subroutine cycle, uh, first of all, whenever we have to make uh, any job, in that case, number of operations has to be performed. Here in this diagram, we are performing the growing operations as well as the turning operations. In this case also, if you observe, we are doing the turning, facing, right, growing operations. One more diagram I show you. In this case, here the we are performing the slots by using a end mill cutter. And all these slots are repeated number of times. Means same size, identical size are there, but at different locations. If you see in this diagram, in this we are doing the drilling operations. Here in drilling operations also, the all the holes are identical in shape, okay, but are at different locations. But ultimately, what happened? Whether we are going for the turning operations or whether we are going for the milling operations, drilling operations, when we are writing the programs just in the normal way, in that case, the program becomes very lengthy. I think you, you, are, you will agree with me. In the same way, it will take more time to write. So it means it is a time consuming. Third important thing is that even it will take more space in the computer memory. So if, if all these things, if you want to eliminate it, in that case, you can go for the, or I will suggest for that, can cycles and a subroutine cycle. Means it is very clear that by using the can cycles and the subroutine cycle, the length of the program will get reduced. As the length goes on reducing, ultimately the time consuming or time taken to write the program will also less. And the memory will be occupied very less. So all these problems will get eliminated. And that's why there is a need of a can cycle and a subroutine cycle. Difference between the can cycle and the subroutine cycle. Your first point, it is used for the repetitive machining operations. Here you can see that we are just going for the step turning. Okay. Is it possible to remove these large amount of material in one cycle? No, it is not possible. So the repetitive cycle will take place or you have to give the depth of cut, right? Even 1.5, okay? Like that you give the depth of cut. It means that a repetitive cycle will take place or repetitive machining operation will take place. Here also, if you see one more example of a growing here. If you want to grow here, or uh, this is a deep groove we can observe. And in that case, it is no, again, you have to go for the repetitive operations. Okay, so the can cycle is basically used for the repeat. These are the just few examples I should. Second, in the subroutine cycle, it is used when identical operations are performed at a different location. Different location, see here. Again, you can observe the same shape, identical shapes are there, but they are at different locations. Okay, so first location, second location, third, fourth, but they are at the um, identicals. Second, in the can cycle, you can see it is written in the main program with a specified format as per operation. Specified format means I have shown, I will show you. Here. First of all, this is a main program, and in main program itself, we are writing the can cycle program. Here, specified format. This is a specified G seventy one. I have used. Basically, you know that. The G71 is used for stock removal cycle, or I can say the multiple turning cycle. Okay, for that, a format is given as a G71U, 
okay dash r dash like that the formats are fixed okay in same case if you see the sub routing it is a separate program which is called in the main program means if you want to make all uh, these slots okay all these are the identical slots same okay so i will write the program for the one slot okay and i will give a particular number to that and i will store it in the computer okay it means that suppose this is a subroutine programs i am writing for this single slot okay and this program i will call in the main program okay so here this is a main program and in the main program i have called this pro subroutine program but when i call it i have to use the miscellaneous code that is m98 means it indicates that when i use the m98 means you are giving the instruction the controller to jump the subroutine program in the main program that is the meaning but here p36 you can see here i written the program number 36 so whatever the program number that same number you have to write here then only the same program subroutine program will enter that okay and here basically when i'm talking about the l1 so l1 uh, it instruct the controller to execute the subroutine in one time okay so this is basically uh, the format means the subroutine program has to be written separately and we are calling it okay in the main program the next is the it is not called but written at a suitable block in the main fun main program by preparatory functions what it means so we, we know that in the can cycle g70 g71 g72 g73 g74 g70 and so on so here basically we are using the standard formats there but it is in the preparatory function g stands for the preparatory functions and the formats are fixed this g71 is basically uh, we know that you are using for the stock renewal cycle or a multiple turning cycle okay i will go for the one more examples there g74 this g74 is for the pack or a deep drilling cycle okay here also you have to use the g g stands for again the preparatory functions one more example you can see the g75 that g75 means again we are going for the uh, growing cycle or a deep growing cycle so with the formats will be fixed which is in the preparatory function g stand for again a preparatory function then in subroutine you can see it is called and ended by a miscellaneous function example m98 and m99 what it means so you can see here in this program we have called the subroutine program suppose this is a subroutine program i call it but when i call it i use the miscellaneous function m stands for the miscellaneous functions m90 and suffix is in the form of number okay so 98 is the suffix that is a 98 indicates when i use the 98 it instruct the controller to jump to the subroutine program or i can simple word i can say that you can call the subroutine program in the main program okay now one more thing if you see the m99 so here when you're writing the subroutine program at that time m99 when we are call uh, indicating it means that your program get cancelled okay so that is the end date cancel means it get end means program get end so it for that we have to use the m99 it means that you are using the miscellaneous functions there okay now next point in the subroutine you can see it is always written in the incremental mode uh, this is very important you can see i written the program here subroutine program separately are writing no doubt but g91 g91 indicates the incremental mode but why we are going for the incremental mode as it has been used we know that the number of slots we are making okay at a different position so it has been used at a different locations so for that always you have to write the subroutine program in an incremental mode so that when i want to go for the second slot okay so i can directly call to the position 2 then it is written in the fixed formation yes we, we don't change that incremental or uh, 
obsolete state nothing like that in one form only we can it that is also in uh, can cycle is also called as a fixed cycle okay then the next is the tool or a cutter path is generated by the controller means automatically it get generated we are not taking any efforts for that but here in this sub routing cycle tool or cut cutter path for every point to be given by the programmer why it is that so you can see here suppose i want to make a slot so controller uh, so, sorry the programmer will decide so whether to make a, a slot number 1 or a slot a slot number 2 first or a slot number 3 first so according to that the program will jump in the main program and make a slot okay so student this is how we are making the comparison between the can cycle and the subroutine cycle cycle so thank you friends